What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing some civic stuff. What we got today is a new carbon dipped interior piece. I'm sure you guys understand. Yeah, you know what's so funny? <laughs> I was just telling myself, I'm like, yo, is this for a right hand drive? Because my shifter is on the left, my uh, mercy brake is on the left side. I was about to freak out, like, yo, what the heck? I got the wrong one. <laughs> it goes this way, so the, the mercy brakes on this side, shifters over here. Big shout out to my mom. Um, she got me this for Christmas. Um, I did mention that in a video, and then the file got corrupted. I don't know, weird. But anyways, back to the video. So this thing should match with my emergency brake because I did change my emergency brake when it broke to a carbon dipped version. Link above for that one. Also, it should go with the double dim system that we replaced with the new head unit that was also carbon dipped from the same company. So let's go down to the car and uh, get started. Usually I'll have the garage door open, but it's like, what time is it? It's like eight in the morning. No, it's like 7.30 and it's 25 degrees and I don't got time to be cold right now. So I got the garage closed. I got my light on. It's my new soft box I got for the set upstairs. I brought it downstairs to see how it looks so you guys can see. Hopefully see a little bit more better here in the garage. But let me show you guys the, um, the old thing we're gonna replace. We are going to be replacing this piece right here. I don't remember how to take this off, but I did took this off a few times, like, like this whole piece right here, and I remember I had to change my shifter bushings, and I'm gonna put a link above to when I did that, that was like a few years ago. So I'm gonna go watch that video, see, rem remind myself how to take this thing off, and all what we're really replacing is top piece right here. So this portion right here, you see how there's a line? We're just replacing this cubby right here, like this, this thing, and this should match the double din and which it does oh yeah look it does it matches the double din and the shift knob look at that so slowly but surely we're getting interior a little bit more up to par so let me go watch that video real fast and we'll get started taking this thing off all right so i rewatched my old video look like i popped this thing off and i was able to take this thing off and i also took off the shift knob um i'm wondering if i need to I might need to, but oh, thing ready. I don't know should... Oh, there we go. Okay. So this is off. I wonder if I could take this piece off without taking off the. Sh let's, let's see. See what happened when you lazy? Unwedge this thing. My emergency brake is already up. So. Oh, look at that. Now, okay. Do I need? Do I, damn, do I gotta take the shift line off though? I'm trying not to. I'm trying to see if I can slide this thing in between here. Let's see. Nope. 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 So I didn't realize that I'm gonna have to unscrew this uh, cargo tray thing, Majee. That way, I can have the storage bin underneath there. So. Oh, they're not even regular screws. They're these weird uh, bits, pieces, but I believe I actually, there you go. I believe I have that, so let's unscrew that. But before I do that, on the new one, oh yeah, I got the holes to screw them back in. Damn, I didn't know that. So if you're wondering, these bolts are T20s. So I got me extendo with a T20, and I'm going to transfer these to that guy, and then put it back on there. And hopefully I can wiggle it through this hole again. And now I realize I need to get this this piece the same material. But anyways, let's transfer this thing over and see how it looks. Just like that. Trays back in there. And is this for these T20s? That's pretty much it. So let's see if I can slide this thing back on over. And don't know why I don't ever use a tripod for anything. I think something is just really wrong with me. And I like things to be more difficult. 
All right, so we got this piece over. Get these wires out the way. All right, so we got this piece over. I now I need to get the matching um, carbon dip piece. So it's not the silver. The silver don't look bad though. Silver don't look bad. Let's see. All right, slap into place. The fitment is I'll say a seven out of ten. Could have been better, but whatever. Now let's slap this thing back on. See if this fits right, and boom. And we're in. So I'ma actually open the garage door and probably reverse this thing. Put this thing in the in the sun so you guys can really see what it looks like. But ooh. I, I like this. I think it's icy champ the whole look of the whole look of the civic. Alright, let's get this thing in the sun, see what it looks like. Y'all not gonna believe what just happened to me. Oh, I had the lights on. Yo, big shout out to my guy James. If you didn't see the video, I um Hey turn this thing off. There you go. I did a review. We did not really a review, but we kind of checked out his gaming setup. Put a link above for that video. He gave me these glasses with lights on them. All right, so I went to go open my garage so I could show you guys the interior. And my garage door breaks. Look at this ghetto this over here. I have a ladder and everything. So this is my first time actually even working on a garage. So it, it, it technically didn't really break. But what happened is this little silver piece right here, there's another silver piece on the inside. And this bigger silver piece, like if I pull this red cord, it'll detach it from it, but it connects to it. So what happened is this big piece got off the silver piece. So when I opened the garage, the chain was moving and the garage didn't open because it wasn't connected. So I didn't know that at first. So I'm trying to figure this out. I disconnected the arm, this arm, like what's going on until when the garage was closed, I saw that this big silver piece was over there. This small piece was right here. I was like, oh, so I opened the garage, watched the silver piece go back over there, even though the garage wasn't moving, and then I just connected them back together. So, oh my God, it's been like, I don't know, a half an hour just now, 45 minutes doing that. I was supposed to really show you guys the interior, and I'm over here working on a garage. It's crazy. It's All right, so I'm going to move the ladder and everything out of the way, and then we're going to bring the car in the sunlight so you guys can see the interior. Insane. So it's always me. Always me. Whenever I want to do something, something always goes wrong. I have no idea why it's like that, but it's always like that with me. Look how icy that looks. That, yo. Yo. Come on. And it matches that. Dang, son. I, I still don't got a... I need a bit of lighting so I can really show you guys. Hold on. The sun is setting right now. This is just the best. Let me see. Maybe I could brighten this up a little bit. This is just going to be the best you guys are going to be able to see this thing, but... It looks beautiful, son. Camera don't really do it justice. So what's so funny is, um, me and Shelly, we've been going to the gym, and I've been listening to Green Day's uh, American Idiot album, and I don't know, but that it gets me busy in the gym. Like, I don't know. The album is fire. I'm just trying to give you guys a better thing, but it's, yo, beautiful. Beautiful. It's annoying that the sun is definitely rising but look at that look at that like i said the fitment actually the fitment's not that bad it's okay like i said i give it an 8 out of 10 i, know, I think i said 7 out of 10 i give it an 8 out of 10 but this thing matches that it looks so good like the whole car just got a whole new vibe now with this one thing too is that i'm going based off of my screen on my camera so maybe it is super clear to you guys and when i edit this i'll see it but I'm in love. I'm definitely in love. Ooh, like, look at that. Definitely in love. Ooh, that's icy. Damn. Definitely get this piece over here now. I need to get that piece to match that. I need to get the shifter piece. And uh, it should be pretty complete. Also, the glove box. I'm going to get the glove box as well, too. Get it uh, dipped in the same type of material. Now that's all in there place. I'll probably keep this old one just in case. You never know when you need it. But I bought some windshield wipers that I need to install because these wipers is trash. And I mean, I installed them probably two or three years ago. So it's overdue for some wipers. And uh, I never got a time to put them on. So here's the time. Let's do it. One thing I regret doing is replacing my uh, windshield wipers from the OEM ones to these, to these Rain-X ones. 
Because if I was smart, if I would have kept, now she's going to go back to OEM, but if I would have had my OEM, um, I have the OEM arms, of course, but the actual wipers themselves, once the rubber insert is actually, you know, kind of faded or done or whatever, all I need to do is change the insert there, and that's it. But since I changed this whole piece right here, when this thing goes out, and this is right next, by the way, but when this thing goes out, you gotta replace the whole thing, so. That's what we're doing right now, but yeah, I'm definitely going back to OEM. I did not know windshield wipers would have been a pain like that, but it is. So I like these Rain-X, these are the Latitudes. I think these are the same ones I have on there right now, if I'm not mistaken. The only thing is, is I installed these like, I don't really know, like two years ago, so I don't even remember. I don't even remember how to put them on, but we're about to see today. So, with these eight gens, the driver windshield wiper is bigger than the passenger. So, it's a 28 inch and a 24 inch. And I hope so because I looked in the book, the windshield wiper book, and it says for eight gens, it's 20, 24. So, if they're wrong, I'm going to go back to Walmart and swap every employee in there. All right, if I remember right, I don't, even know, I don't remember how to freaking, I think you get to pop this thing open. Let me get my flathead. I think you pop this open like that and... What happens next? Because I know I need two hands for a second. Damn, let me scratch this thing a little bit. But yeah, so when you pop this top piece open, this piece kind of clicks it into this hole right here, and then you just lift it up and pull up, and it comes off. So yeah, so these are the 28s. I think these, this rubber piece right here, it's so dry. Because whenever it rains, I use my wipers. It's true. I can't see. It's trash. It's trash. So. These, I'm gonna replace these for now, but definitely I'm gonna go get some OEM arms because it's well needed. Alright, so these should be. Oh, these are bigger. Shut up. Is a passenger one bigger? The passenger one better be bigger. I'm gonna kill somebody. I'm gonna kill somebody. Hold on, let's open I thought this the 20. I thought the smaller one was the passenger, so let's see. This thing better be the same size. Not the same size. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Alright. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, these are the same. These are the same. Y'all, so tight. Alright, so. Okay. So, yeah, so this goes, should go on like this. If I'm not mistaken. Alright. Bro, I just took this damn thing off. I don't remember how to do this. These things are universal, so they work for different types of hooks. So, I think this one you take this. Yeah, I think you're supposed to take this. Oh, I think you're supposed to take this blue thing off. Yeah, I think you take this blue thing off. Alright, blue piece is off. And this should slide on like, like this. Yeah. And boom, that's it. And then you clip that back into place. Okay, let's click it in. Good to go. All right. Let's do the same thing on this one. Make sure you take off that, those yellow pieces too. I'm gonna take that off. But it's gonna hurt to knock this out. So, damn. Put it on it, like so. And then, this thing lifts up too. So you lift this up, and you pull up forward. I'm doing this wrong, do not do it like this. But it slides off just like that. Shields off like that, and then this guy comes off. So this is how you know I love you guys. You know, also, one hand, one hand, like so, and boom, you're done. Take off the yellow insert. Okay. This one off. And new wipers, done. Belly do needs a bath, you guys probably saw the last time. The last few videos I made driving the car, you could barely see on my windshield. 
So do if you need to clean that. All right, we're back in the game room, nice and warm, all done with everything. If you've made this far in the video, that means you sat there and watched the whole video. I appreciate you. And I know I always say I appreciate you guys because I really do because you could have been watching anybody, but you watching me, you know, that you clicked this video. So anyways, what I learned today is that if you're going to work on your interior of your car, your garage door will break. So if you know you're gonna work on your interior, make sure you, I'm just playing. Things happen, you know, and that's what I love about my channel is that, you know, I show you that sometimes you get frustrated, sometimes you get mad, you hear me cursing at my car, cursing at the computer. Things happen, you know, it's a real life channel. I know a lot of channels out there don't, like everything looks perfect, but that's just not realistic. I just love the progression that I had with Belly. And I love that I have this YouTube channel where I have a playlist for this car. I can go back in time, relive when I first got the car till today and see everything that's been done. And it's just cool just having anything, a car, a game room, or a house, or your workspace, whatever. And to see the progression that, you know, where you started and where you are today, especially with the new year, 2023. Anyways, I got work today. I need to edit the video for today, get this thing out, and go, get, go to work. So I'm going to end everything here. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and all my subscribers. Shout out to you guys as well, too, because, like I say, you can be subscribed to any one, but you subscribe to your boy. I'll see you guys in the next video.